Hello guys, it's Ryan Ho, back with another video. Today we're gonna to talk about the most open sounding closed back headphone I've heard. This is the Hyphenman Dakoni Cobol. Now this headphone is a collab between Hyphenman and Dakoni. So Hyphenman makes a lot of audiophile headphones, especially a lot of planar headphones. And then Dakoni obviously makes pads. They're really good at using pads. And I use a lot of their headphones on my pads. I mean, I use a lot of their pads on my headphones. I just said that completely wrong. So we have the Dakoni pads on my Hyphen HE6 SE V2. I also use it on my gaming headphone as well, which was the Epost H6 Pro. Also use them on my Sennheiser HD 58X too. Anyways, so we're gonna talk about this headphone in more detail. We'll compare the sound of the two pads it comes with. It comes with another velour pad as well. And then we're gonna talk about some kind of mods I kind of tried with this headphone for fun as well, because I felt like, you know, I could change the tuning a little bit. So yeah, let's take a closer look at this product. And as always, please like and subscribe down below. Helps my videos out. And yeah. All right, let's unbox the Dakoni Cobalt. So. This is a very high fan unboxing experience. Very similar. We have, wow, the headphones in the middle. We got these fenestrated pads that I believe are angled, yep. And then we also have two spare pads in here as well. So these are some type of velour. It's kind of cool to see. And then we have the included cable, which is a 3.5 to a 3.5 millimeter with an adapter for a quarter inch adapter. So, all right, so take a closer look at the driver. So I took off the pads because I want to put on the velour pads. You can see the driver inside. It looks pretty big actually. And there's not really much tuning except for, you know, this covering that protects the driver from it. So you're not really having anything in between your ears and the driver. So the build quality is headphone, right? So this is definitely a typical hi man build quality. So. This is the same headband you can find on their $150 HE400 SE. And then the cups are actually the same as their like, I think it's like $100 um, HE, I think R7DX, I think is what it's called. So the build quality is definitely not of a $500 headphone. So that's definitely the elephant in the room. And I think most people will understand that. And these are actually on sale for 400, but even at $400, these aren't really a $400 built headphone. Now, one thing that is important to note is that, you know, I do have this other headphone. This is the, you know, Hyphenman HE6 SE, and it kind of uses the same build as a $150 headphone, but the drivers in this headphone sound really good. And this is my main headphone. So the build quality and the sound quality are two different things, right? So next thing I'll talk about is kind of the pads, right? So this comes with two different pads. And they have a velour pad, which has a different sound than the fenestrated pad. So let's talk about sound quality, right? So we have the kind of the fenestrated pads on right now. And then we have the velour pads over here. Personally, I like the fenestrated pads the most. They sound very forward in the female vocalist, even the male vocalist sound really good with these pads on. So I do prefer the tuning of this. Now the bass response on this is kind of flat. So in my opinion, it's just kind of the standard audio file base, which is not that much of it. So it has a flat base. And then the sub base is not much down there. They even mentioned it in their kind of tuning that, you know, there's not much under 40 Hertz. So if you play a lot of like EDM type of sounds, you're not going to hear the sub base. And then when it comes to kind of the treble, that's the part of this headphone where they've also mentioned that it's bright. And I do find this headphone to be bright too. I do think it's a little overemphasized in the treble and that kind of makes kind of the vocals sound a little bit over sharpened. It's not like, you know, fatiguing, but they just sound a little bit overemphasized in general. So I know some people like the brighter sounding type of headphones and a lot of Hyphenman headphones are brighter sounding. So if you kind of like that Hyphenman sound, then I guess you would really like this headphone. In fact, I do think this is tuned a little bit better than a standard Hyphenman in the sense that the mid range of this headphone isn't like kind of pushed back on a lot of Hyphenman headphones. It's actually pushed forward. So I think that's a kind of nice change from, you know, normal hyphen headphones you find and i assuming that's kind of the Dakoni touch on this headphone now we have the other kind of pads on here so the velour pads in my opinion make this headphone sound a little bit bassier and less trouble forward in my opinion so i do kind of think the velour pads do sound a little bit more fun sounding and less you know trebly so i do like that aspect of it however i still think the stock sound of the kind of 
the vocal range gets kind of pushed back. So the female vocalists sound like they're far away when you put on the velours, which I didn't really like as much. So that's kind of why I lean towards the kind of fenestrated pads to begin with. Let's talk about the kind of the different mods ideas. So essentially with this headphone, you can actually put, you know, foams under the pads, right? So you can take off the pads, right? And you can actually put different foams in between them right here. So that's what I did to kind of, you know, mod them is essentially put them right here and then put the pad back on top. And what I found was that after testing a lot of different materials, I ended up liking this felt material over here. I feel like this felt material really kind of did something different with the sound. Essentially, it kind of tamed that brightness that I was hearing and then it compensated by actually giving it more bass as well. And overall, it made the sound sound a lot more balanced in my opinion, with that lift and bass and that treble being decreased. In that mode, I really, really enjoy this headphone. Now, I'm not gonna say it's like a perfect mod. I did find that sometimes the headphones sound a little bit more shoutier. In some instances, the lower treble is definitely a little bit more kind of pronounced in this tuning, but it's kind of the thing I prefer the most. I also tried some other materials and you know, I'm about to get very audiophile as I go through all these different things, but essentially we have, um, we have coffee filters. So if you haven't seen my Bear Dynamic video, I basically made a bunch of different kind of foam inserts and type of inserts to change the Bear Dynamic headphones. And they actually happen to work with the Hyphman headphones. So I was able to kind of reuse these for this video. In the sense, I actually use the coffee filters, right? I felt like they didn't really, they kind of curb the trouble too much. I use the paper towels. Actually, I think the paper towels are my second favorite, which is hilarious. But yes, if you use paper towels, it can improve the sound of this headphone. Well, I guess make it more balanced. So the Coney also sells their kind of attenuation kit. So I tried all the ones that they gave you with the different foams. They all kind of did similar things. They kind of reduced the trouble just slightly, but then they also increased the trouble in different areas and the bass kind of increased with them, but they never reduced the trouble enough for me personally. That's why I had to go with something thicker like this felt in my opinion. But I have those different speckled ones. So these ones, these ones, and these ones. So there's a lot of different kind of foams, right? So they all kind of didn't do what I wanted. And then in the end, I also tried, this is supposedly the same material as like a t-shirt and I tried this, but you know, it just wasn't that good. So in my opinion, if you want to make this headphone sound more balanced sounding, then use the felt. You know, I think I'd really enjoy the headphone in this mode. And you know, I really just listened to this headphone for a long time after I put the felt in and enjoyed it immensely. It just sounds so much more to my preferences after that. And another thing I forgot to mention earlier too is actually when it comes to the kind of, you know, the imaging and sound stage, right? So for sure the fetish rate sounded the biggest to me and the imaging was super accurate. So I always kind of play games like Valorant to test for imaging. And, you know, with the fetish rated, I can tell exactly where gunshots are coming from and it's really good. But for some reason for the velour, I think it because the change in tuning and lowering kind of the upper mid range slash lower treble, the change in tuning plus these pads resulted in a very strange experience for me. I felt like the center image was very kind of vague when I was using the headphones. So if you're gonna play games or you want the best imaging, I guess the finish rated pad is the best in my testing. So when it comes to like detail, like this is a very detailed dynamic driver. Like I was listening to how snappy everything sounded. Nothing sounded muddy. Everything sounded very well separated. It sounded like all the notes were played lightning fast and they disappeared and they sound nice and big and wide. I said, this sounds like an open back headphone and a closed back headphone. And overall, like there's no sluggishness of the sound. So I can tell that whatever Hyphman developed for their carbon coated driver is definitely working. And you know, I'm very curious to see what else they do with that driver in the future. As it sounds like they can kind of tune different drivers using the same theme by changing wherever they put the carbon, I guess, on the driver. So I think that's something exciting to, you know, see in the future. And it's really nice to see that this headphone using that technology because it sounds very, very detailed. And so some of the kind of headphones that I think this would, you know, be interesting or I guess compared to maybe is that, you know, I think a lot of people like mid-range kind of headphones like the 6XX. This headphone sounds even more mid-range forward than that headphone. And this headphone, 
however it has a lot more treble than the 6xx so definitely a headphone that could be an alternative but with more treble and even more mid-range forwardness um this headphone's treble actually reminds me a lot of the meze 109 pro which kind of sounds you know a little bit trouble forward or emphasized i guess as well so this headphone sounds very similar to that so if you like that headphone you might like this headphone as well and yeah that's pretty much all i got for you guys so another thing i tried it was this impedance adapter it kind of goes on the bottom of your headphone and right here it changes the impedance of the headphone to by 20 ohms and increases that and essentially what that does is it increases the bass and decrease the treble so i added this just to test it for fun and it worked wonderfully well on this headphone so yeah just fun stuff to try because you know the Kony is kind of a modding type of company you know they make a bunch of mods for existing headphones so it was just fun to try all these different things out on their headphone so this leads me to my conclusion so apparently the Kony is releasing some type of like foam that can like increase the bass and there's like a bass port mod too by like dms on this headphone so they definitely have some things coming out to definitely change the sound of this so i thought i would try some stuff out beforehand just to see what you know the type of mods they were kind of thinking of seeing what type of stuff i could do myself too but you know in bass form this headphone is flat bass bright so if you're into those type of headphones then this headphone might be for you if you're not there's definitely some changes that they have coming along that can change this headphone to your preferences and whatnot you can try some of the stuff i tried as well but yeah this has been nice and i, I want to thank the Kony for sending this out to allow me to review this and i hope you guys enjoyed this video please like and subscribe down below helps my videos out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.